Hello everyone, so today we will be testing Malwarebytes for Android. So let's go ahead and open it. I went ahead and set this up beforehand, set up all the permissions, etc. And I went ahead and updated it, enabled the trial since it did not require me creating an account, entering a credit card, any of that. And I tried to do a scan after the database update, but I canceled it. Now let's take a look at the interface. As we can see so far, it's it looks pretty nice. Nice and simple. Anyway, let's go into the side here and take a look at the menu. So we have a scanner right here. I'm not going to click that quite yet because I'm not ready to do the test. We have a security audit and this is to harden the security of your device I assume. So we c it's complaining about me not having a password pattern or pen. Of course I would not add that on a virtual machine. It's complaining about me not having Google Play Protect enabled. That's just for the sake of making everything fair and developer mode is turned off. Now we have call protection and it appears to be disabled by Google's new developer policy and probably a complaint based on what I'm reading here about Malwarebytes call protection. Let's not show that again. Now we have app manager now this is kind of redundant, but I suppose it's a nice thing to have. We have the user installed apps, we have system apps, all that stuff recently used. I'm not going to enable usage access because that's not what we're testing. We have a privacy audit and this should only take a second I assume to look through the apps and this is what I expected so this basically shows you all the apps which have sensitive permissions like accessing accounts, can read your personal info, track locations, cost you money can download files silently that kind of thing. We have premium features, security news, which that goes to Malwarebytes blog, which is Malwarebytes Unpacked, I believe. It's a good blog. Settings, of course. Now I haven't made any changes to the settings. And we have scanning, scan after updates. I sh that's the one thing I didn't disable that I probably should have. Whatever. We have protection, real-time protection, anti-ransomware protection, and safe browsing. Now, I don't know why this came disabled automatically, but whatever. I did not disable as previously mentioned. We have other device administrator. Now, that's probably to keep the app from being uninstalled by malware as easily. We have memory caching, auto-updates. I went ahead and forced an update just for the sake of saving time. We have about uninstall Malwarebytes. I assume that helps if you have the device administrator enabled. Anyway, that's pretty much the interface. Let me go back to the dashboard. And let me show you what we have today. Today we have the same samples I used in the last test, which was Bitdefender antivirus free. And we have, let's see, 103 files. Now let's do a scan of these files and see what detection ratio we get. And I'll be right back when this is done scanning. 
Alright, I'm back, and the scan took three minutes. Not as fast as Bitdefender, but fast nevertheless. Now, let's see what we have here. We have ransomware, we have whatever this is, we have the pup, which was boost phone speed, we have a Trojan clicker. We have, I believe, I pulled this from an infected tablet off of Amazon. And we have some adware. Alright, enough scrolling around. Let's just remove the thing. And, let's see. Okay, that was quick. No, I'm not going to rate. And let's see what we have left. Where is it? There it is. So we have, let's see, 4, 8, 12, 13 files left. So not too bad. I was expecting worse out of a company that usually makes Windows anti-malware software. But I could see they put a lot of effort forth in making an effective anti-malware program. And I applaud that. Anyway, as I said, this is quite impressive. But that pretty much wraps it up for the Mauer Bytes for Android test. Thank you all for watching and have a good day.